Welcome back on this series of short tutorials on how to conduct reproductive analysis. Use it according to the instructions in the SOP or Standard Operating Procedure linked in the description below. Uh, this time we're going to show you how to plot female size at maturity information. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you've already estimated female size at maturity. Uh, there's a link down below with a video on how to do that. Uh, once you have your size of maturity information at hand, we're going to select the data that we would like to plot. So we're going to select the size class average. And while holding down the control key, click on the predicted uh, number of or per, um, proportion of mature females. We're going to insert a chart here. Click next to this arrow with scatter plots and choose um, scatter with smooth lines and markers. So this is the model uh, that we've generated for size of maturity. Now what we like to do is add our observed data. So click anywhere on the chart, click on select data, and then click on add. For our series names, we're going to write observed. The series X values, it's the same thing that we used for the previous plot, the size class average. For the Y values, delete this equals one, and then choose frequency of or the FREQ MAT column. And click on OK, and click on OK. Now what we'd like to do is get rid of this second trend line because this was just um, the raw data that we were plotting. So make sure we go to Format. We're going to choose the series observed, and we're going to click on No Line so that line disappears. The next thing we'd like to do is add axis labels. So chart design, add chart element, axis titles primary horizontal, and axis titles primary vertical. Rename this. The y-axis is length in centimeters. I'm sorry, the x-axis. And the y-axis is the proportion mature. The next thing that we would like to do is change our axis uh, range. So we're going to format, go to horizontal axis values, click on this uh, axis options, and again on axis options, and we'll start here at 15. Looks like a good number. While we're in here, we'd like to add a little bit more detail on the x-axis. We're going to have major and minor units. Our major units are going to be every one centimeter, and our minor units are going to be every 0 0.1 centimeters. And then go to tick marks down below here, and we're going to have minor tick marks added and have them go outside. And here you can see there's a little tick mark for every one millimeter or every tenth of a centimeter. The last thing we want to do then is add a reference line. Here we're going to go up to, um, again we're in format, we're going to add this line shape. Go to, whoops, I'm sorry, one more thing we have to do. Let me go back, we want to change the vertical axis. And axis options, we want the major axis only to go up to 1.0. Okay, that did it for us. Okay, now we're going to add that reference line. So here we're looking for the interception between this line or the, the 0 0.5 proportion of mature females and the model line. So right here. We're going to add a straight line, go here to the intersection of those two. Hold down the shift button, left click, and drag down. Now, holding the shift button makes you draw an absolutely vertical straight line. Okay? And there you go. So this line, if we look closely, should be somewhere right around 23.8 centimeters. Come back next time, and we'll show you how to calculate sex ratios.